Hello, this is Ujwal Gandhi from SpatialThoughts.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to deal with messy spatial data and clean up all the geometry and topological errors. We'll be using QGIS along with a tool called MapShaper, which is a free and open source tool that allows us to fix topological errors. Uh, we'll take some really messy admin boundary data and clean it up so that it's free from errors like sliver polygons, overlaps, line intersections, self intersections, and so on. So with that, let's get started. So here I'm in QGIS. I've loaded this shapefile of uh, admin four boundaries in Kenya. Uh, this data is uh, different polygons, but again, you, if you zoom in a bit, you'll see that the polygons have a lot of problems. Uh, there are overlaps between polygons. There are small gaps. Uh, there are self intersections, some invalid geometries. So quite messy data. And again, since the errors are just too many, it is impossible to clean it up manually. So we'll be exploring some tools in QGIS along with MapShaper to make this data ready for analysis and topologically correct. So first, let's find out what are the different errors that this data set has. Uh, QGIS processing toolbox comes up with a tool uh, for checking the geometry errors. It's called check validity. So if I click, double click on this tool and just run it. So I ran the tool and it says, there were 19 errors that it found and 19 invalid polygons. So let's see where that is. So it generates an output of the point locations of the errors, the polygons of the features that were invalid, along with the valid ones. We're not interested in the valid one for now, so I'm just going to turn this off. And now we see all the, the locations uh, where all the polygons which were invalid. And if I turn on this data, where it's showing me the points, it is showing me exactly where the errors happen. And again, if I open the attribute table, you'll see that what are the different kind of errors. And again, all the errors in our data set are ring self intersections. This is the kind of error when you're digitizing a polygon and you, instead of digitizing the polygon like this, you would go and you know digitize like this and you'll intersect itself. So a polygon that is intersecting itself is not a valid polygon. If you take this polygon, it is having the self intersection like this. So this is invalid. We'll take this and create a multi-polygon having two parts. So this is the first part and this is the second part, right? So this is what our tool does that it fixes the errors. It also fixes some other errors uh, that are commonly found in vector data. So to fix this, we can just take, run a tool called fix geometries. So this is our, locations and we're going to just save this output. So I'm going to save it to a shape file. I'm going to just say uh, admin for fixed geometries. And let us run this. And you can see this is my uh, fixed version. Just the geometries have been fixed. The topological error is still remain. But if I check the geometry now, of this newly created data, you should see there are zero errors. So again, we could get rid of the uh, invalid uh, geometries by using this tool. And we have a shape file, which is the cleaned up version of this. So that's the first part of the problem. Now, how do we clean up these gaps? And again, if you, are, if you look at this data, they also have overlaps. So there are small overlaps between the polygons. Um, and which is again, not uh, proper uh, data. You need, if you have two adjacent polygons, they need to have a common edge. Uh, that is a topologically correctly digitized polygons and they should exactly overlap. If there are small gaps like this, can this creates problems with your analysis and visualization as well. So QGIS comes with a built-in tool called Topology Checker that allows you to find all the topological errors in your data. Uh, this comes in as a core plugin. So it's already installed as part of your QGIS installation. You just have to go uh, to your plugin manager, go to the install, search for Topology Checker and turn it on, right? So this is a core plugin. It just ships with the default QGIS. You just need to enable it. Once you enable it, you can go to Vector and do Topology Checker. So this is what the dialog looks like. Uh, here, you need to configure the topological rules that you want your data to adhere to, and then it'll show you which parts or which features do not follow the tool. We're gonna click the settings button here, and we'll use this uh, admin four. Uh, let me remove the other layer so we don't have any problems with that. I'm gonna 
zoom to the layer. So this is our layer. I'm going to click the settings button and say our current layer must not have duplicates. That's a good rule to have. You do not have duplicate geometries. You can also have a rule such as must not overlap. That's also a good rule. Uh, you can also say must not have gaps, right? These are the sliver polygons between different polygons. And again, you can see there are different other rules where if you have two layers and you want to have rules following the both the layers, you can configure them as well. Again, these are good enough rules for us to have. So I'm gonna just click okay. And then I can check. So I can say check all the whole layer or I can check certain parts in a viewport. Let's just click this button to validate everything. Uh, this layer has a lot of errors and you can see these are all the places where they have problems. You can see there are some overlaps and as I uh, scroll down, there are gaps and this is about 25,000 errors. And again, there are just simply too many to be able to fix manually. If I just turn this off and say, you can see these are the gaps that it found, right? So just uh, too many errors, quite messy data. And uh, again, fixing this would be problematic. So QGIS comes with another core plugin called Geometry Checker, which allows us to fix the topological errors. But in my experience, the tool doesn't do a very good job. Also, we need to kind of review and fix the errors one by one. And fixing 25,000 errors one by one, it's not going to be a fun task. So instead, I want to show you another tool, one of my favorite uh, data editing tools called MapShaper. So I will take this data, export it, uh, we already have it as a shapefile. We'll use MapShaper and fix the errors. All right, so here I'm MapShaper. This is a web-based tool. You just visit this website, mapshaper.org, and the tool runs in your browser. Uh, this is a website, but the tool, actually all the data processing happens on your machine in the browser. So it's a client-side application. That means whatever data we are loading, it doesn't go to a server. It's just sitting on a computer. Our browser runs the code to clean up the data and then it just gets saved to our computer. So again, though it runs in a browser, it's not running on the internet. It's running in a browser on a computer. Uh, we can drag and drop the data. So I'm gonna just uh, drag and drop the, the shapefile that we had just exported from QGIS and drop it here. And we can like click import. So we can see our admin polygons are here. It detected some line intersections and you know uh, we have some invalid polygons as well. Uh, to run the commands here, we need to use this uh, tool button here called console. So I'm gonna click the console, which opens up this kind of command line interface on the left-hand side. You can type help here, and this shows you all the different commands that you can run on this data. This is a full-fledged geospatial data editing and analysis tool. Uh, it's really great. It works in the browser anywhere, so it's very portable. You don't need to install anything. I always end up using this when I'm editing the data on somebody else's computer. They may or may not have the correct version of QGIS installed, but they can always go to website and use this. Uh, they also have a very good documentation. If you go to uh, the wiki page, the MapShaper wiki page, it has documented each command with the uh, steps to run each of these commands in detail. Here, you just need to know one command if you're fixing topological errors. There's a command called clean. So if you look at the, all the different commands, there's a command called clean and it fixes all the gaps and overlaps. Uh, I'm going to type clear and type help clean. So show me how to run the clean command. And again, this is the command and these are the different options that is available. To run the command, it's very simple. You just type the command and whatever data you loaded, it just runs that. So we can run the clean command with all the default uh, values without any options and just run, click enter. So click enter and you can see it removed all the sliver polygons and it removed all the caps and your data is cleaned up. So now our data is cleaned. Let us export it as a shapefile and take a look in QGIS. I'm gonna click the export button I'll name it uh, maybe V2 and export this. Back in QGIS, I have the V2 layer and I'm going to open this up. And you can see the layer looks like this. Let me zoom in and you can see all my gaps are gone. Compare it with the, the base map, right? You can see the gaps are gone. Even the overlaps are gone. Let's run our topological check on this layer. So I'm going to click uh, 
first let me just remove the or let me just remove the rules here so on this thing we're just going to remove the previous rules because we had twenty five thousand errors on that layer i'm going to take the v2 layer and configure the same rules and i'm going to click validate all and now we are down to only eight errors remember we started with twenty five thousand errors map shaper just with one command fixed all of our errors except these eight let's see what are these errors so there are some gaps still remain in our data. You can see this is a gap here, I turn it off. You can see this is pretty big gap in your polygon. And the default in MapShaper is a small tolerance so that you know it doesn't kind of do uh, mess up your data quite a bit. So uh, with a default tolerance, we could clean up most of the data, but there are some larger gaps also present in our data. Let's measure how big is this gap. So I'm gonna use the measure tool, measure area, and I'm just going to roughly click around and see what is the size of this particular area. And maybe in square kilometers, it says about 0.9 square kilometers is the area of this. And I want to configure this uh, to say, I want to actually you know, fill gaps around this as well. All right, back in MapShaper, we already have a clean version of data here. Uh, and we saw that we can specify some options. So you can see there's a gap in area and I want to kind of increase the tolerance of that. So I'll just say clean and I'll give the option gap fill area equals to, maybe I'll just give two square kilometers and see what happens. So I run this and again, it says it removed seven of eight slivers. So we, remember uh, QGIS also found eight slivers, we fixed seven of eight. Let me just make it a little bit more, maybe five square kilometers. And now everything is gone, right? So now using this tolerance, we are able to download, uh, remove all the slivers. Let's export it again. I'm just gonna name it V3 and download the shape file. Back in QGIS, let's load the V3 layer that we just created. And you can see now, this was the V2. You can see there was a large gap here. And in V3, that's been fixed as well. Again, you have a lot of options on how this fixes are happening. The default is that if there are two layers with a gap, the gap region will be merged to the largest of the polygons. And again, you have control over how you want to do it. Maybe you want to merge it to the smaller one or so on. So we have pretty good, clean, topologically correct data that we can now use in our GIS analysis. If you enjoyed this and want to learn more about MapShaper and how you can use this for your GIS analysis, do check the video description for articles and tutorials on MapShaper that I've written. Thank you.